Are you aware of the new internet over USB feature available on our Septentrio receivers? Well, now you're in the know. Hello, I'm Joy from Septentrio. With our new firmware update comes the internet of a USB feature. Today, we will be going through how to connect your receiver to the internet using a USB cable. Before you start setting up, be aware that the components are sensitive to electrostatic discharge, ESD. Use a proper grounding system to make sure that you, your working surface, and the components you're working with are at the same electric potential. First things first, ensure your receiver has been updated with the latest firmware. Go ahead to connect your receiver to your computer using your USB cable. Head over to the web user interface by typing in the IP address on your browser. Go to the communication menu and click on USB. This feature is off by default, hence you will need to switch it on. This feature requires allowing internet sharing on your computer. The procedure to do so depends on your operating system. Taking Windows for example, open your network and internet settings, select the change adapter option. At this point, you should be able to see all your connections including the Ethernet option for your Septentrio USB connection. Right click on your internet provider and select the properties. Click on the sharing option to allow to share the network and select the ethernet option for the Septentrio USB connection. Once you have succeeded, the word shared should appear on your connection. Upon enabling this option, the IP address will no longer be accessible. A new random IP address will be assigned to your receiver. To find this, you can use for example, a terminal-like software such as command prompt by typing in the command or you can use our RX control tool with serial connection included in our RX tools. Send the leaf IP parameters command to retrieve the dynamic IP address assigned to the receiver. Now it can be used to access the receiver using the web user interface. Want to test out the internet on your receiver? Go over to the access corrections, select Ntrip client and enter caster and mount point details to receive the differential corrections. When this goes green, it means the receiver is receiving corrections and it should provide RTK fix solution now. And there you have it, internet connection of a USB. If you have any more questions, visit our support page on our website or feel free to contact us on our contact page. Thank you for watching.